so that's just fun here with this deal here. Obviously, you're walking to land yeah. in a cup car for the first time, so how'd this all come together for you? Uh, I mean, really, I was looking for a, a truck ride for Canadian Tire Motorsport Park, and these guys have a truck, so uh, they're also looking for a driver for Watkins Glen, a road course guy, and I fit the bill, and we did the deal. Yeah. So yep. you're gonna be, you're doing a truck race for them as well? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, at, uh, up in Canada. Yeah. Yep. So how tough is it to get into a cup ride? Obviously, we saw you in a truck last year, but how different was this deal? Was it different from others? Definitely. Um, you know, the cars are a lot faster. Uh, the field, the equipment is is a lot better I mean you know a couple guys at the top of the truck level have, have pretty serious equipment but here everyone all the way down you're competing with the best guys obviously uh, so you know you just got to drive your hardest and you know, take what the equipment will give you yeah we've seen a lot of different drivers in this car do you have other plans in this car are you open to oval stuff or are you just looking at road courses uh, nothing yet. Uh, I'd, I'd probably have to do a couple other uh, Xfinity or truck races before I'd get qualified to run the cup car on the oval stuff. Um, so no other plans yet, but we'll see how this weekend goes. Yeah. yeah. So do you have more, you know, aspiration to get to the Cup Series full time? Is that is that really what you want to do with your career? For sure. I mean, that's that's always the goal when you're racing. So. Uh, Keeping it fun these years, just trying to run as many road courses as possible. Uh, I'd really like to get in some good equipment and run an Xfinity race as well. Uh, here would be cool having some experience now after this weekend, yeah. but uh, just do as much racing as uh, the career will allow. Yeah. Yep. So obviously you, you're in the big series, the biggest series you go racing, but you're with a small team. So what are the expectations like? You know you're not going to go out there and win because just the equipment doesn't allow it. Yep. So you know what are you looking at for Sunday? Just run as best as we can. I mean, top 10, top 20 would be great. Uh, you know, possibility to do better. There's, this is always a wild race, so just be there at the end. I think is one of the, the important things. Yeah. But we'll try and get as much speed out of the car as we can. Right. You ran the K&N race yesterday. Um, I'm not sure about your experience here at Watkins Glen. So, how much did that help you when it came to you know getting yourself ready? I think that helped a ton. You know, that was a, a brand new car. We were working out some bugs in that car, but. Just happy to get out and do some laps. Uh, don't have much experience here at all, so uh, thankful for that opportunity too. Yeah. Did you grow up watching the Cup Series? I grew up watching this race. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I saw you post an Instagram photo of you inside a stack of tires. So now, just talk about some experiences that you've had here as a kid. Uh, I used to come camping here all the time. My dad raced some vintage cars, so he was here uh, every year. We'd come down. It was the big trip down to the states. Yeah. Uh, Got to hang out here. I mean, it's such a cool place, a lot of history, and yeah. uh, I like all that stuff. So, yeah. who are some of your racing heroes? I, I've got I've got a lot of different heroes. I mean, this series probably Dale Earnhardt. Uh, yeah. You know, he's the man. Right. So, coming. Yeah, we talked about the KBM live with the truck series last year. That's a big team in a in a larger series. So, yep. you now we came to that experience. You know, how much did that really help you? Maybe a mindset more than anything else for you. Yeah, that helped a ton. Those guys are pros. Um, you know, that was a great opportunity to get in that uh, good equipment there. Uh, get some road course experience. I mean, this is my second race on uh, on radial tires. Wow. So uh, just getting used to that feeling as opposed to the bias plies like our Canadian series and the K&N series, yeah. Right. So you did a lot of racing in, K in, in, uh, in Canada, that is, in the, the Pinty series. Yep. How different is it? Obviously, it's, a, it's the same continent, but it's a different country. Is yep. it really that different racing from Canada to the U.S.? Uh, the cars are definitely a lot different. Yeah. Uh, the talent level is definitely there up north. I mean, Tagliani runs up front here when he comes down. Ranger's done a bunch of stuff. Uh, we run with Villeneuve every once in a while. Right. Um, so good group of guys, but we're running on old, old, old technology. Yeah. So uh, it makes the racing a little different and can't, yeah. can't quite slide these cars around like you can the Canadian right. ones. Right. How, how much different are the fans? Do you get you know different fan support in here compared to Canada? Or is it maybe better down here since you're the only Canadian? Oh, I don't know. I get a lot of fans close to home, so it's a lot of fun there. Um, that weekend up at uh, CTMP with the truck race and our race, that's a big weekend. I think yeah. they get 75,000 fans, and um, so that's a wild weekend. But obviously here at the Glen, there's there's a lot of fans too. Yeah. How do you think NASCAR can improve when it comes to bringing Canada into NASCAR? Everyone wants to see more Canadian races. Obviously with CTMP, everyone would love to see a cup race there. So how do you feel the series can improve to, mo to go above the border a little bit? You know, I think if we could get an Xfinity race or a cup race at CTMP, 
that would be huge. You'd have all, all the high-level Canadian guys wanting to go run that race yeah. and trying really hard to do so. Right. And you work on the uh, the show, it's like Legendary Motor Car. Obviously, yeah. it's, a, it's a close show to you, so... That's pretty unique. Not a whole lot of guys in this garage can, can work on a show like that. So how, yeah. how's the experience like for you? It's good. I mean, uh, fairly comfortable in front of the camera yeah. now. So yeah. uh, that's good. And, and, you know, car show, getting to hang out with my dad and yeah. uh, run around the country buying and selling cars. So we have a lot of fun. Yeah. We talk about the, the car generation, how not a lot of young kids are into cars anymore. You know, you're rather young and you you love cars. So how important is that? Because it's not, not a whole lot of young kids really like cars anymore, it seems like. Yeah, it's a little bit different. Not a lot of guys my age uh, are into the muscle cars like yeah. I am or the 50s cars, even the old race cars. So, yeah. um, you know, I try and try and rub off on my friends as much as I can. Right. What's the coolest car you've seen on that show? We've seen a lot of cool cars. Um, Instagram's pretty cool. <laughs> probably the uh, probably the Mercedes SLR Coupe there. Yeah, that's probably the baddest car on the planet. Yes. How did you get that show together? You know, how how did that come together for you and your dad? Uh, just with our with our shop there, we're doing you know everything we're doing on the show right now anyway. So we thought we may as well film it and did a deal with uh, Velocity Channel, so Discovery down here, um, and that's what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So in the cup call for the first time. Have you had any moments of, holy crap, I can't believe I'm here. Obviously we got so many, you know, you got Dale Jr. in the garage here and all these guys, you know. Has there been a realization moment yet or maybe will that come on Sunday? Uh, probably after the weekend. After the weekend. Yeah, yeah right now I'm just racing a car. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, what are your expectations? For, what are your hopes for Sunday? Obviously you want to go out there, you said top 20 finish, but yeah, what do you expect? I mean, top, top 20 would be great and then we'll take any more we can get. Um, you know, depends. We'll see how fast the car is after practice, and then uh, we'll set our expectations from there. And it's a wild race; anything can happen. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely yeah. appreciate your time. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. best of luck tomorrow. Yeah, thanks, thank you. Man.